Hey, my name is Joe Rodriguez. I am a uh, McDonald's owner operator and um, I'm 50 years old. My Instagram is mcjoe691 and I drive a 2019 M2 competition. Well, the age that I started to get into the car scene is um, I was 16 years old and uh, I really enjoyed cars and that really kept me out of trouble. Um, you know, not getting into drugs and all that. I just started fiddling around with cars and I think that's what actually uh, kept me from doing a lot of the bad things that my other friends was doing. My first vehicle was a two, uh, 1979 Volkswagen Beetle powder blue with black interior. I did an exhaust on it. I did um, Porsche seats and I also did Porsche wheels on it. Um, my father-in-law worked as a uh, truck, uh, he fixed trucks and he was able to weld uh, some Porsche seats in my car and got those things powder coated white. So that was as close as I get to a Porsche. The significant cars that I got after the Volkswagen was a Trans Am, a gold Trans Am, like the Smoking the Bandit one. Um, I ended up getting a Honda Accord, uh, a 1988 white Honda Accord hatchback. Then I got into BMWs when I ended up purchasing a, um, an X5 5.0 that I was able to do some modifications on it, which was also an uh, EDSS tune. I did some wheels and stuff like that. I had three Mustangs. Um, I had a, uh, a, a Roush Stage 2 Mustang that I did a Whipple Supercharger, wheels, uh, down pipes. It was really fast, a uh, good tune. Then I ended up purchasing a 1991 Mustang and I put a 427 built uh, Bennett racing motor in it. And I was doing like 10 ones all day long at the track, naturally aspirated. And I had a Mustang convertible with a Whipple super, uh, Vortex supercharger that uh, I was playing around with also. And I sold everything to start getting into Porsches. And then I ended up getting a um, my first Porsche was, I think, a 2001 996. And then I ended up getting a 2003 996 twin turbo with uh, a PE 650 uh, horsepower kit on it, uh, which is uh, Protomotive uh, Tuning did that. And then I ended up buying my, uh, my, my favorite car has been my 997 turbo from Vivid Racing that I purchased from them from Dan. Um, from Vivid Racing, the owner. And uh, that had 825 horsepower. Um, and that thing, it did the uh, Texas mile at 206 miles an hour. It was baby blue. And then when I received it, they took the wrap off and it was charcoal gray. And then I got sponsored by uh, HRE. And um, which I didn't get sponsored by HRE. The uh, guys from uh, uh, Wheels Boutique hooked me up with some HRE wheels. And I was the first one out with red HREs in the U.S. And then everybody started getting red, H red wheels. So I, uh, the buildup to getting this vehicle, I had uh, two F80 M3s. I had an Austin yellow one, all done up with wheels, uh, suspension, and everything else. And then I got into an F80 uh, Yas Marina one. They both had carbon ceramics. Um, I actually built my... Yas Marina one to the specs that I wanted. I wanted the Silverstone interior with the Yas Marina outside. Um, and then my lease was up on the Yas Marina and then I ended up uh, picking up this 2019 uh, M2 competition from my buddy, Eamon. Um, he's one of the number one salesmen of M cars in uh, New Jersey from Park Avenue BMW. And he told me, hey Joe, I got a M2 comp over here. You want to take a look at it? And I actually didn't even look at it. I called him over the phone and I sent me some pictures and uh, he uh, we did the papers over the phone I signed the papers and uh, I got myself an M2 competition so the first day of delivery of the car uh, it was crazy feelings because my buddy was uh, racing at uh, Sebring and um, Efren uh, he races for uh, GT3 Club Series and he invited me to go see one of his races and I told him I can't go because I'm getting my M2 competition. I should be getting it this weekend. And he says to me, why don't you have it delivered at the racetrack? So uh, I had my buddy uh, send me the car at the racetrack and 
It was an awesome experience because I got to the I got the delivery at a racetrack. I got to do a parade lap with the car, um, and got to drive it in Sebring, uh, the track, and got to mess around outside. And um, matter of fact, my two boys got to drive the car before I did when they came off the truck, and it was just a crazy experience. The comparison between this car and the F80, um, it's it's smaller, it's more agile. I feel like uh, I'm driving a uh, go-kart compared to the F80 because the F80 is a base, the, the wheelbase is a little bigger and the, uh, the M2 is a lot shorter and you can feel the, how the car handles differently from, uh, from an F80. And I feel like it's a lot faster just because of the weight of the car. So the reason I chose DCT over manual is because I went to a, um, a, uh, a fundraiser that, uh, that GT3 Porsche guys had. I didn't have a GT3 Porsche, so my buddy that races for uh, with his GT3, he said to me, hey, you know, let's go to Tail the Dragon, it's a big event. And um, he ended up going off racing and I stayed with his car for the whole event. And I got to drive it in the Tail the Dragon and he had a PDK on that car. And I figure the PDK is the like the top of automatic cars and, and DCT I think comes below it as one of the best ones too and I said you know what let me try DCT instead of six I've had instead of six speed I've had six speed all my life so the modifications that I've done in this car and I and I really want to thank PSI um, in um, Oviedo for all the work that he's done with this car and my previous cars my previous BMWs um, they built this car um, so BC got me in contact with uh, PSI got me in contact with BC Racing and BC Forge so I was able to get BC coilovers. Uh, I did the BR series coilovers on this car. And then they contacted me again to try out the ER series, uh, the external reservoir uh, coilovers, which are wonderful. Um, I've had BC coilovers on my two F80 cars, so they're really good. Um, the following um, modification that I did with, with uh, PSI they got me in contact with uh, Active Auto Works in, uh, in Miami. So the exhaust that I put on this on the M2 is, uh, we'll start from the downpipe. The downpipe is VRSF downpipe. Um, and then uh, PSI was able to get me in contact with Active Auto Works from Miami. And they wanted uh, to put in the full exhaust uh, from Active. I did mid pipe, I did the tail pipes and the tits from Active. Um, my next uh, modification is the cold air intake. I did a cold air intake from Dynan. Um, I also was able to get a, uh, a tune from uh, Boot, Boot Mod 3. Uh, and I also called uh, DME Tuning, which is a friend from a long time ago. And he was able to send me a, a nice tune from uh, DME Tuning to get those pops that everybody likes and shoot flames from the back. Um, so I ended up buying wheels from uh, BC Racing, the HCS 02s, and uh, they're 20 inch, um, nine and a half fronts, 10 and a half back, uh, wrapped around with um, hand cooked tires. Um, love those wheels. I've had previous wheels. I've had HRE, I had Velos, I had DPE wheels. Um, uh, I've had numerous wheels and I really like these wheels that are on, these car on this car. I think with the tune, the DME tune, the kind of horsepower that I'm looking at, I haven't done a, a dyno in it, but I'm thinking about five, five and change on that car. Um, first and second gear is crazy. It's all over the place on first and second, and um, it's fast. It's considering the, uh, compared to my F80s, I think this is a lot faster. The aesthetic mods, okay, let's see. We have uh, Vorsteiner, I have um, side skirts from Vorsteiner carbon fiber Vorsteiners. Um, I have uh, the uh, diffuser from Vorsteiner and I have the trunk lip from Vorsteiner. I ended up purchasing uh, from RW Carbon, I did the, uh, the CS hood, which I got it painted from um, Fandino in uh, Orlando, did my painting of the Hockenheim silver. And he ended up leaving the top piece uh, carbon fiber and painted the rest white, did a great job. Um, I also did the inside from IND, I did the uh, carbon fiber shifter, and now I'm waiting for my steering wheel to come in. Um, I did a, 
Alcantara steering wheel with uh, the yellow um, ring on the top with the color stitching of my interior inside, which I'm waiting for that to get here. So the modifications on my headlights, my calipers, and my cross brace were done by Euro Customs from um, Brockledge, and um, they did a great job. They actually did that uh, powder blue uh, cross brace. Um, they were able to black out my headlights and do a little blue accent on my headlights. Um, and they did the cross brace in that powder blue and my calipers um, to give it that final touch of the car. I have a lot of future plans. My future plans for the car, I have a lot of them, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna get that far. I would like to do uh, pure turbos on the car. Um, I like to do um, a roll cage on the car and uh, different seats. The BMW um, seats that they're selling overseas at about $6,000, but I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. Um, Unless I get sponsored. <laughs> if I was asked to sell the vehicle, I'm, I, I would like to try to keep it because especially it's a M2 competition. It's the first series of the M2 competition. Um, I'd like to keep it as long as I can. Um, maybe this thing will be worth some money in the future. So I think I'll like to keep it unless I decide to pick up the new M3 that's coming out. The other cars in my house, are, we're a, a household of BMWs. We were, I had one son that was in the Japanese car. He had a 600 horsepower STI and I told him to get rid of the Japanese cars. And um, I ended up uh, convincing him to get himself a uh, 2010 uh, BMW M3 in white with the saddle interior. And uh, my other son, Nick, has a uh, 128 in um, Le Mans blue. Um, and hopefully, you know, uh, we'll get, be able to get my other son into a, an M3. My feelings of the M2 Comp, I, I love the car. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with it. And the best thing about having this car is that I get to do a lot of things with my kids. Um, they're all into cars and I get to spend time with, with the boys and and, and cherish, cherish that time of being with them and hanging out with them. So I would like to thank um, my biggest, my biggest uh, sponsor here that has helped me a lot in this build is PSI in Orlando. They've, they've, uh, they've helped me out with, with my two uh, F80 M3s. They've helped me out with my kids' cars. Um, really great shop. Um, so that'll be PSI in, uh, in, in Orlando. Um, RW Carbon, BC Forged, uh, BC Racing, DME, uh, Ruddix detailing that they did my Expel and my ceramic coating on my car, um, Active Auto Works for the exhaust, IND, I've used IND a lot, um, uh, Euro, Euro Customs that did my headlights and my calipers and all that, he's been a great help also. Um, I'd like to thank BMW Invasion for uh, inviting me here and, um, and doing this video on, on the build of this car. I really appreciate that. I'd like to thank uh, Euro, Euro Motive Performance Shop for letting us use this location to be able to do this video and uh, take pictures of the vehicle. Once again, my name is Joe Rodriguez and my Instagram is mcjoe691 and I drive the M2 2019 competition. Good. That's a wrap. Oh. Anything else? Anything else? How you feel? That was good. Good? good. You weren't nervous? Right? Sweaty?